Let's spin together, Revit tip number 7A, AG Acid Protector. Uh, now, AG Acid Protector is my first plugin on the Autodesk App Store. Uh, really excited. Uh, I'm gonna post the link in the YouTube description. Basically what it does, is turns your families into non-modifiable 3D geometry, uh, which basically allows, let's say you send this to a third party, you're gonna get the design intent out of this, but they're not gonna be able to take this family and modify all the parameters that come with it. Like, let's see, I selected this table here. Uh, you know, it's nice, you can change it to 60 inches, you can click it again, we can make it a 36 inch diameter table. So it's really nice to have these families that have lots of parameters and firms typically spend a lot of time creating these families. And then when you send it to um, a third party, there's a chance they might take. So that's where the AG Acid Protector comes in. So let me show you all these families here. They're actual families, as you see, uh, we can go through this. So all you do is you can work by categories. So I have all the furniture you can see here. So let's select that. I'm just gonna click make selected categories unmodifiable. Please read this warning before you do this, by the way. We're gonna click this button here. It tells us it protected about eight families. And this is what happens. So now this right here, uh, it's rendered effect effectively useless to take other than your model. Uh, you can click still explode and let's say you wanna move this chair but all the parameters are gone, where it was this really nice family where you could just switch it to a three foot table, a four foot, or whatever it is now. Um, basically it becomes, if you see here, it's just an import symbol now. Uh, and then you're still gonna be able to change materials on this. If you go to visibility graphics, you just go to imports. And here's my furniture here. It kind of turns it into uh, geometry similar to what it would be if you import AutoCAD or SketchUp to your Revit model. So now that we did that, let's just go ahead and do everything. So I'm gonna go down the line here, select everyone. I'm gonna leave actually one of these things out. Let's do specialty equipment because I wanna show you something else. So we're gonna click make selected categories unmodifiable. And here you go. Now also here, uh, it shows obviously 36 families got converted. Uh, there's also a duration here, and the idea is uh, on very large models, this may take some time. So it might take 10 minutes. Um, I haven't really seen this go past 10 minutes, but it's just limiting to the projects that I have encountered. But the idea is once you run it once, now you have a rough idea how long it would take. So now I know this model takes about six seconds. And let's just go around, see what it did. Uh, as you see here, we have our casework, uh, generic models here, and each category, it says mechanical equipment. So even though it groups it together, let's say I have these lamps, it says lighting fixtures. Even when I explode it, then it becomes more specific. Uh, I'm gonna select this, click edit type, it's lighting fixtures. It keeps the family name here, so you're gonna be able to still figure out by type. Um, and let's say you send this maybe to an interior designer or a GC that doesn't need to have your furniture families, you could always protect those uh, assets. Um, you just have to be careful, let's say you send it out to a plumbing engineer, you may not want to convert your plumbing fixtures into 3D geometry. Maybe they want to do something with it or just ask them, maybe they you know, hide all your stuff in place, uh, their own families on top of them. So it's just communication, but uh, rule of thumb is if they don't need it, I would protect it. Um, another feature I want to show you, I love these treadmills here. Uh, so they're still Revit families. You can click edit type and you have all this information here. Um, one of the things you could do on certain large models, I haven't been able to figure out why, but the geometry may shift consistently each time you run this. Um, let's say it moves it up by 10 feet or something like that. I could figure out why, so if anybody wants to if anybody can figure this one out, I would be gladly listen and try to fix it. But let's say your geometry modifies here, you see a note in case protected assets shift unexpectedly, you can adjust their position. Uh, so let's say what I wanna do is move this up. Let's say we wanna move it to the one of the directions, let's say X, and we wanna move it by 20 feet. 
And you know what? We'll do the Z one too. We'll do negative 20, right? And let's select our specialty equipment. Click this guy here. It disappeared, so let's go find it. Should be somewhere underneath. Probably have a section box here, so I'll disable that. And here are my treadmills. Again, because it was all specialty equipment, they got grouped together. Um, if we click explode, we can select individual ones. And then here, when you click this, it still tells you what it is. It's specialty equipment, treadmill, uh, and tells you the view that got generated by the plugin, basically. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna post the link in the YouTube description and for the Autodesk App Store. Please check it out and rate it if you like it. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you on the next tip.